Hello Year 2, it's Tuesday the 12th of May and today I'd like you to try to solve some written problems. Um, you will need to use all the information and the skills that you learned last week about addition and subtraction. Here's problem one. Ben and Sita count cars. Ben counts 38 red cars. And Sita counts 23 blue cars. How many cars do they count all together? So, hopefully you remembered to highlight the key information first. And so that would be 38 and 23 and that key word all together. So, thinking about that, I know that the operation is going to be an addition. Then what I need to do is think about how I'm going to work it out. What's the most effective method? Now, here, I have chosen to do it mentally. I've gone 38, add the tens first, which is 20. So 38 add 20 is 38, 48, 58. And then I've added the ones, which is 3. 58 add 3 is 61. So I know the answer to the question is there are 61 cars all together. Now, it's important that when you write an answer down, that you think about whether it looks sensible. And 61 to me looks sensible because if I was to round up Ben to 40 cars and Sita to 20, 40 at 20 is 60. Hope you got that one right, year twos. So here's question two. There are 76 cars in the car park. 18 more cars go into the car park. Then 35 cars go out. How many cars are in the car park now? Remember, highlight, then do the operation, then work it out and check whether it's sensible. Hopefully you recognise this is a two-part question. There are 76 cars in the car park. 18 more come into the car park. So that first part is an addition. Now, I've decided to do the addition by using the compensation method here. Instead of going 76 at 18, I went 76 at 20, which is 96, then took away 2, which is 94. You could have done it using the mental method that I've shown here or you could have done it in column. Now, the next part of the problem says, then 35 cars go out. It's really important to try and visualize these problems. So obviously if cars are going out, there's gonna be less cars left behind. So it's a subtraction. So I've got to do 94 now, take away 35. You can see that I've done it as the expanded column method here. So I partitioned the 94 into 90 and 4, then partitioned the 35 underneath, and then I've gone 4, take away 5. Now I know that I can't do that, so I borrowed a 10 from the 90, so there's only now 80 left, and if I add 10 onto the 4, I've now got 14. So 14 take away 5 is 9. And then I look at the 10s. So now I have 80 take away 30, which is 50. So my answer to the question is, there are 59 cars in the car park. Now I'd like you to have a go at the SAT questions on the worksheet. Remember, try to visualise the problem first. 
then use the information below to help you. Remember, you need to use the methods that you feel most confident with. So whether it's the compensation method, doing it mentally and just putting down jottings, or whether you want to use the expounded column method. Good luck.